Hey everybody, my name is Danielle and this is Chatter Out Loud. Thank you so much for joining me. Your presence is very much appreciated. So welcome or welcome back. Today I'm going to chat about Hallmark Movies and Mysteries, a new original movie on that channel. It's called The Journey Ahead. This movie was really, really good. Um, I related to it so much. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts, keep listening. All right, The Journey Ahead. It premiered on Sunday, August 14th on the Hallmark Movies and Mysteries channel. It stars Holly Robinson Pete, who plays Madeline, Kaylee Bryant, who plays Sarah, and Mark Humphrey, who plays Carl. The synopsis is as follows. A famous Hollywood actress and a young wilderness expert drive from Los Angeles to New York. Along the way, both women learn they can't run from their past to create the future they want. So this was another movie, the second one in the in a row from Hallmark Media that I enjoyed. Um, we have Madeline, who's a famous Hollywood actress who's at the end of her career, and it looks like her influence is waning with age. Uh, then we have Sarah, young girl. She's a wilderness expert um, who agrees and teams up with Madeline to drive cross country. Um, Sarah is driving Madeline from L.A. to New York City uh, because Madeline, Madeline, excuse me, has an urgent doctor appointment. Uh, they get off to a rocky start. But afterwards, when the car breaks down specifically, um, they stop in a charming little town. And during the stop, the two of them get to know one another only to discover some common ground. Um, they then unexpectedly help each other um, face their past mistakes through support and unconditional love. Right. Um, so I really, really enjoyed this movie. It was real to me. Um, take out Madeline's occupation. This story could apply to anyone, not just like a Hollywood actress, right? Um, when you are of a particular age, you can relate to feeling old. Well, well, not feeling old, but made to feel as if you're aging out, right? Like you're replaceable. Um, I'm in the field of IT, not Hollywood. Um, and while I have tenure and I manage engineers, you know, um, there have been moments where I felt like Madeline, you know, when I was an individual contributor, not in management. Um, but now that I do manage, it's a little different. Um, and I guess because I can help bring in new talent, but what am I trying to say? I feel like I'm rambling. Um, I guess I'm trying to say that I related to both of the stories, right? Sarah's story was more surrounding the mother-daughter relationship, and I related to that too. I mean, I am a daughter, and I'm a mother of a daughter. So um, I felt the stories were so real. Um, I thought that the overall uh, movie or film was written really, really well. It was believable. There were fun moments. There was charm. It just was real to me and I loved it. Um, I related a lot to it with both Madeline and Sarah. Uh, there were great lines in the movie I enjoyed. Um, this one was made, uh, was Madeline. She gave a message to Sarah because, you know, well, I'm not going to spoil anything, but Sarah and her storyline, Madeline gave her a little bit of advice. She said, you think you have forever, but don't. You need to fix this. That's what she told her. And then she said, be careful in giving up on people you love. I just thought that was, that was a good, those were good lines. Um, oh man, I love the performances. I'm a big fan of Holly Robinson Pete. I remember her with hanging with Mr. Cooper. Now I wasn't a fan of uh, 21 Jump Street because I think that's where she got her start, if I'm not mistaken, or her popularity was back then um and I wasn't really into that show but hanging with Mr. Cooper um and she's her, she's a bestie with one of the girls I think Terry in in Vogue and I remember them both being on the Oprah sidebar here they were both on the Oprah and it was a best friends day on the Oprah Winfrey show and they showed a picture and they both had like curly hair they look exactly the same I just remember that one thing <laughs> has nothing to do with this movie but I guess I'm saying that I'm a fan of Holly Robinson Pete. I like her. She's a likable person. 
Um, she's aging well, right? She looks good. Uh, I, I just really, really like her. Um, now she has had longevity in her career, right? I think she's a great actress. Um, there was a funny scene in the movie, uh, the scene when she was eating a burger. <laughs> she hadn't had a burger in 15 years and she enjoyed that burger. It just was funny to me. Um, I just felt overall, I felt the movie was real. The performances were great. I like the fact that you can learn from, um, or the premise, you know, learning from one another, like just because you are mature and in, um, in your fifties or whatever, or older, you, that doesn't mean you can't learn something from a young person. Right. I like the message that that gave. Um, I also liked how the movie, uh, ended with all of the relationships. Um, there was a tearjerker in there too with the daughter, but I don't want to spoil anything. Um, but I connected with Madeline for sure. Um, I feel it's a blessing to grow old with all my faculties. I'm grateful. I'm thankful. But it did put some things in perspective in terms of how you can potentially be viewed in your older years, right? And it's a journey just accepting that and getting through it and working through it, right? And the subplot, of course, with Madeline's health scare and things like that, all these things put life in perspective. So um, the journey ahead, that was the movie. Our journeys don't end because we become a certain age or because a career ends. In many ways, that's just the beginning. Continue on your journey. Have you guys seen the movie? What did you think? You have to let me know your thoughts in the comment below. And that's all I have. So be sure to come back and give me a listen. I'd love for you to like, share, follow, and subscribe. All will will help my channel grow. So thank you in advance. All right. My name is Danielle. This is Chatter Out Loud. Thank you so much for joining me. And as always, I appreciate your support. And that's all I have. Thanks again for listening. And I'll talk to you next time.